All right, guys, I decided to do a little video on this jerk chicken I'm going to make. These are chicken breasts that are sitting in here. They've been marinating. And I use this Walker's Wood jerk marinade. So I've been marinating for probably about two hours now. Um, and I'll put this uh, in the description. But I've been marinating this just in this jerk sauce. Oven is preheated to 375. And we're going to bake this for approximately probably about 35 minutes. Uh, let's take a look at the chicken breast and sitting in its own juices and this just jerk marinade. And I covered it, make sure it uh, gets a nice coating into the meat. So we can see here that jerk chicken has been sitting in this. So let's, and what I did, I cut the chicken. These are boneless chicken breasts. These are pretty thick cut. So what I did was cut these in half. So, uh, doesn't take as long to cook, but I cut them pretty much in half. So they're all the same, same thickness as you can see. I don't like my chicken breasts really thick, I like them a little slim, so I cut them down. These are real good size, I and mean, definitely dinner portion size. And you can see that jerk chicken is really, that jerk chicken sauce is really soaked into the meat. It's going to be a little spicy. It's good. All right. There you are. We're going to take this. Put a little bit of the sauce. Don't like to waste my drink sauce. On top of there. All right. All right. So we're going to throw this in the oven. Here. We got it at 375. Oops, wrong up. And then here. Let's throw these in. Let's set our timer. And what are we going to do? 35. All right, stay tuned. 10 minutes left on the timer. But I am going to flip the chicken. Let's see what it looks like here. Looking good. Here the juices. Let's flip them. I'm supposed to flip them halfway through, I forgot. But no big deal. Get the last 10 minutes or so. Cook on the other side. Okay. All right, let's see what we got going. Looking at it, take it out a little bit ahead of the timer. And what I use is a digital thermometer touch. Let's see what we got. Got a little bit of time on that one. Here you get to 165. As you can see, we still got a little ways to go. About 144, most of them. All right, so we'll stick these back in and we'll see what's going on. All right, let's check this again. Don't want to wait 10 minutes. Sneak them out. I don't want them to dry out. So let's check them again here with the thermometer. All right, so we still got some more time. Just wanted to be safe. You can cook it a little bit longer because you can't uncook it, right? That little one is almost done. So let's pick it back in and stay with the current timer with uh, six minutes to go. I guess I'm just hungry. Some jerk chicken. All right, stay tuned. All right. Time is up. Let's see what we got going on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
done, let's try to see. Well, let's see what the temperature now is. 167, 165, 170. We are cooked. Try not to hit the pan with some armor to get an accurate reading. This little guy I know is done. 182. Let's see what that's reading. That one's reading a little bit low. All right, I'm going to take some of these out, and the ones that are still showing a little bit of cook time, I'm going to put those back in. I don't want to overcook the, uh, the smaller ones. So we'll be right back. Let me take those off and stick them back in. All right, let's try this again. Timer off. We should be good to go. Took the smaller ones off, put the little thick ones in here. All right, it's looking good. All right, let me just check it just to be sure. Yep, that's good. Nice and cooked. Let's cut into one. Take this one, one of the smaller ones you can see. Nice and white and done. I'm going to get me a little taster in here. Should I just hit this with the fork? Okay. How this looking? Mmm, that's good. That's real good. I like that. Y'all have a good evening. I know I'm going to eat good. Caribbean jerk chicken. Talk to you later. Bye.